Here we are in Bridgeport, Michigan at Amigo. Uh, you've always wondered what they make. You've seen these motorized shopping carts. Let's go make one. Let's just go right over here with it and just throw it in the aisle. Do, do I back it in? or However just... you want to do it. You can back yeah. it in, drop it. You can pull forward and drop it. They can build one of these things in about 20 minutes. It, it's going to take me about 20 minutes just to set it up in the in the doggone rack. So this one's in tight. Yep, once and then, you get there, and then you can one, feel it. I'm not a great painter, but I, I think I'm doing a pretty good job here. Put one bolt in that hole and one bolt in that hole. Just straight down. Yep. Cap that Was it kind of like a lock washer? Yep. I, I got it with the other side. Okay. All right. So now, put the bar in with the holes down. At station two, we're gonna put on the drive. This is a front drive unit. Okay. So you got your drive and your motor and your wheel all right there. It's basically a bicycle bearing headset. Okay, so this goes what you would have in a bicycle. This, you got we're gonna try and get you sweating here. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, so I hold this in. I'm gonna slide this up. Yep, very good, feed it through. Okay, I'll hold sorry. this side for you. All right. Ready? All right. Okay. Now you're going to run the wires through at 2.3 miles per hour full speed. Uh, yeah. yeah. You can't, can't go a lot slower. Now, I, think, I think I can get her up to four and a half, five. <laughs> I got a handle on this. Don't worry about it. I feel like I just took my snow blower apart and I'm putting it back together again. All right, Ken, the stations in front of you are all waiting for a unit now, so we got a little bit of backlog. Okay. We're going to put this one aside. All right. Okay. I'm going to drive it somewhere. I'm going to, I'm going to push it. It's starting to look like a, an Amigo. Starting to look like it. All right. We're going to take it to station three and wake up station three operator over here. Come on, let's get going. I got work to, got, I got work to do here. The back plate that you're putting on right now has the controller, which is the brains of the unit, and then the charger, which is going to charge the batteries. See, I'm saving steps here. <laughs> I just got to make sure the nut goes on the right way. Wow. Now I feel kind of like an electrical engineer too. Do I, do I get a degree or a certificate after I'm done here with your station? Yeah, I'll give you one. Okay, I can start over. Ken, I heard you talking about starting something over. We don't really have, you know, an, an extra day for you to start over <laughs> on this unit. I'm not talking about the whole unit. <laughs> yeah, so you're a little over halfway done. The red one will go on the green one, and the white one will go on the black one. I don't know why I even knew that that, that was even the way to do it. It's just kind of instinctive, isn't it? Uh, the green one always goes to the red, and the yeah, white right. always goes to the black. This is going to be the bracket to hold the basket on the front. Slide these in. Three is done. Right. On to station four. All right. Safety first. Once you get one started, the other four will go, go easy. The other three. Oh, that's easy to say for you now. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, watch your fingers. There you okay. Go. Yeah, my fingers are fine in that one. All right, so this goes. Bother way. Okay. Well, there you go. Then why did I pick it up that way? <laughs> okay. Turn it 90 degrees. The whole right. buckle. There you go. It'll fit right down. Oh, I see. Okay, right. I got it. On to the last station, which is final check or quality check station. We're going to run 850 volts through this, this machine, and if I've done anything wrong at all, we're going to find out right now. We're signing it out now. It's going to be going to shipping soon. Put an uh, owner's manual with the order. Mm -hmm. Put that in the basket. Scan the controller. And then a swoop going up so it doesn't tear, right? And then just keep pulling. That is quality work right there. Quality hole. This is, this is for our liability department. Okay. We're gonna set this one aside, maybe not ship this one to the customer today. Watch your toes. Gonna make sure I don't run over anybody, but this is kind of our quality control. Right now we're just gonna kinda make the big turn. Oh, it turns on a dime. Oh, I do need one of these at home. We've been at this location for 49 years. 
And just last week, somebody said, I probably have driven by here hundreds of times. Yeah, they did. Yeah. And I never realized what you did. So it's kind of fun to have customers come in and, and people in the community stop in and get a tour of our place. So I made some sketches and we came up with this. I had to use an electrical engineer and somebody to help weld the aluminum on here. Even though I was a plumber, I, welding aluminum was difficult. This is what we came up with and was this unit here. Swivel seat and it worked. It was practical. What am I about? Mm -hmm. And I have always tried to find a better way. Mm -hmm. There has to be a better way. And I think that is a big part of it. There's always got to be a better way. It's an innovator's model. It's exactly the, what you're describing right there. Yes. You and Henry Ford are like this. Well, we both have wheels, don't we? <laughs> Mine are generally three wheels, has had four. <laughs> but anything that has batteries, yeah. motors, chargers, yeah. and wheels, yeah. we're good at that. Yeah. <laughs> Whether it's moving people or equipment. Yeah. Thanks to all our friends at Amigo A for their great hospitality. Uh, honey, don't worry about the shopping, I got this one. Uh, see you next time on our hometown jobs.